Hi guys, welcome back to the Big So Long. I'm Jenny, and as always, I am thrilled that you guys choose to spend a little time with me each week. I really appreciate it. Um, last week, we were talking about our Diane Erickson, um, what's it called? O'Keefe shirt. Um, and I asked you guys about some buttons, and turns out that the buttons were really like hit or miss. Most of you guys either loved the buttons or hated the buttons. And nobody said they hated them, but most of you either liked or disliked. There was no like in between. However, Charlotte had a really good idea to use covered buttons, um, cover buttons with that, um, the stripe fabric that I used for the accent. And that is what I'm going to do. I don't have any buttons to cover just yet, but I'm gonna pick those up next time I'm at the store. And um, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So thank you, Charlotte. And thank you everyone for your opinions. I really appreciate it. This week, um, well also last week I said, I was gonna try to come up with some ideas for patterns for um, dresses and tunics that would sort of resemble or, or replicate the um, styles that I think it's Linda has over at the Slow Wardrobe. Um, I have a list of them here and I'm gonna like be looking at my phone so hopefully you won't think I'm rude. Um, but here's the thing, I'm gonna put a picture of the actual, um, I think it's called uh, the layer cake linen love dress. There's also a cotton love top. I think the styles are really the same. And then the layer cake linen smock. We're going to start with the layer cake linen love dress. Now, here's the thing. It looks to me like this dress has a cut on sleeve, um, a scoop neck, and it does, if you expand the picture in on from her website, you can see it looks like she has a princess seam on that that goes from here all the way down. I can't, I couldn't find a pattern for that exactly. Let me change that. I actually, I did find a pattern. This one from C and T Patterns is called Quick and Easy Tea Tunic and Dress. And I went to their website and for some reason I, I can't get onto their website right now. So I'm just going to show this to you. If I can I, if I can get onto the website, I'm going to leave a link to it below. If not, I'll just leave a name and maybe you guys can try it later. This dress has a grown on sleeve. I don't know if you can see. This does have a sleeve that you could make longer and it does have princess seams that go down here. Um, and it comes in a tee, a tunic, or a dress. To me, this is really spot on for that dress. The only thing I think you would have to do is extend the sleeve to make it a long sleeve. That said, since I'm not sure that that is still available at all, and if it is, I know it's only available as a paper pattern, which may not be, I think that CNT is in New York, so I'm not sure that that would be convenient for everybody. So, I came up with a few options. Um, this first one here, let's see, what do I have? We'll go this direction. Okay, this first one here is called the Orla Trapeze Dress from So Girl UK. I believe it's available as a paper pattern or as a PDF. Um, this has a good shape. It does not have the princess seams and it does not have the grown on sleeve. You could easily alter it to add those things or you could just make this dress as is and get the look of the layer cake dress without actually having the princess seams and the the grown on the grown on sleeve. I think this one does. This one does have pockets. So I think that is a really good option. Um, also the next one is um, from Tissuti Fabrics. It's this one here. This is called the Lily Linen Dress. Very similar in, um, I'll show you a line drawing too, very similar to the um, Orla Trapeze dress. It is narrower at the bottom, partly because it does have little darts at the bottom. It has patch pockets and it has set in sleeves. So again, it's not exact, but I think it could really give you the right look. Um, what else? How weird is that? I have another one called the Orla. Another, oh no, this one isn't the Orla, it's the Ola. <laughs> Ola. 
tunic. This is also from Tasuti Fabrics and um, this one does have a grown on sleeve. It is a tunic and it looks to me like it has a little bit more ease than either the Orla dress or the Lily dress. It's got a little more ease in the bust so you may need to take it in. It does not have the princess seam. You could easily cut this down like right about here and make yourself a princess seam you know wherever it goes directly over your bust you would just have to remember to add seam allowances to both sides and also you may want to size this down because it does look like it has more ease um, you may also need to lengthen it because this one is a tunic um, what else the folkwear basics tunic Sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting back to my pictures. Um, the Folkwear Basics tunic, where is that? It's right here. This one is a grown-on sleeve. Um, I have a picture of the um, line drawings, but they're really small, so I don't know if that's going to help you. It is a grown-on sleeve. It does not have the princess seams, and this one has dipped that hem dips on both sides. This one also has a higher neck and a little uh, button loop thing in the back. Um, but because the Layer Cake Linen Love Dress has a lower neckline, I'm assuming that if you wanted to use this pattern, you would lower the neckline and then you could just eliminate that um, keyhole in the back. You wouldn't really need that. Okay, then we also have um, the Wool Fork Dress, which I've talked about many times before. This, again, has patch pockets and a set in sleeve. And this one also has the droopy hemline on both sides. You could either make it as is, it is more fitted in the bust than some of these other ones. Um, you could either make it as is or you could straighten that hem out. You could add a princess seam. Um, I think it comes pretty close shape wise to the layer cake linen love dress just as is. I mean, if you just straightened out that hem, I think it would look the same. Um, sorry you guys, but my phone keeps like clicking out on me. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so then also we have from Tina Gibbons, I have two. Um, uh, one is, what one is this? Uh, the Poppy or the Cleo are both dresses that are made with a double fold. So you fold your fabric widthwise and then lengthwise, which means that your shoulder seam and your center front are all, and center back are all on a fold. Um, so that gives you the look of that grown on sleeve. It is a grown on sleeve. But I will say that I know from experience that both the Poppy and the Cleo are really generous in size. And the layer cake dress is more fitted in the bust. So you can use either one of those patterns. You would just need to cut it down to make sure that you're not getting that much ease in the bust. I think you probably want four to six e inches of ease in the bust, so you could do that. Um, for the smock, again, I would say you can use that wool fork dress because it does come in a sleeveless version. I think you would wanna make it a little big bigger so that it can go over your other dress, make the armhole a little bit deeper. Or um, the Tina Gibbons Echelon, uh, I think it's actually a slip but I think that that would work and I don't think you would really have to do very much to it except the echelon has a band that goes about around the bottom. I would just eliminate that band and then lengthen the rest of the slip so it's all even. Now she does have um, a layer cake top which is the cotton love top I think. That again I, I'm pretty sure is almost exactly this except for that sleeve. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't know if that's even available. So we're going to keep looking for the top. I think there are a couple of things you could use for that off the top of my head. The, um, well, the wool fork could definitely work for that. It also has a line to cut it into a shirt or a tunic. And also, um, oh, I had one in my head just a second ago. <coughs> Excuse me. The Merchant and Mills. Top 64, I think, could probably work for that also. Okay, those are my suggestions for 
making some layer cake pieces. The baggies, which are her pants and the jumpsuit that she has, I don't really have patterns for that yet, although I can keep looking. Um, I will say that the linen love dress and the layer cake linen smock are both pretty simple pieces. So I, I have some ideas on how to actually just draft your own for those. If you guys are interested in um, doing that, let me know in the comments below and I'll, I can do that for you guys for next week. Okay, so aside from that, I spent a lot of time online this week, but I did not spend a lot of time in my sewing room. I was, uh, I just had one of those weeks where life got in the way of my sewing. I hate when that happens, but it does happen. Um, I did make one garment this week and I, my husband and I went to see um, a show last Friday and I wanted to whip something up uh, to wear to it. So I used this pattern, which is, again, I can't leave a, a link or a better picture because I can't get onto their website. It is a CNT pattern. Um, this one is called the Simple Elegant Tea. I have made this before. I don't know if you guys remember. I made it in like a black and white check linen uh, that I showed you guys earlier, like late summer, or early fall. This one um, I made in a beautiful um, rayon Georgette. It's got like a real crepey texture. It's heavier. Then it's both it's heavier both in density and also in weight than uh, regular chiffon. Um, I love this fabric; it's really beautiful. However, and this does happen sometimes with rayon, I washed and dried my fabric and I laid my pattern out and I cut it. And um, as I was pressing my garment, as I was sewing, the fabric grew. <laughs> so I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but this pattern does not have a shoulder seam. It's cut on the fold, again, both here and, and down the center. Um, so I ended up, to get it to fit correctly, I ended up having to raise the shoulders and put a shoulder seam in, which is fine. Um, this is a really, I did not have to do that on the original one, so it was the fabric for sure. So, yeah, this is my... Uh, What's it called? Simple Elegant Tea. The only thing I did to this, aside from fixing that shoulder thing, was I lengthened it, and I can't tell you really how much I lengthened it because I didn't measure. I had two yards of this fabric, and it was folded in half widthwise and in half lengthwise, and I just cut it to the length of the fabric that I had. So the length from the shoulder to hem was one yard. So... I thought maybe what I would do today is show you guys a couple of pictures of how I will be wearing this. Um, first, I will show you how I wore it. Let's see if I can find it. Um, yeah, this picture here is the way I wore it on Friday, which is just with a simple tank underneath it and a pair of leggings and boots, which is... Uh, casual and it was perfect for going to a concert um it's easy it was uh yeah i it was that's all i can say it was easy but i thought as temperatures get cooler i may want to wear it a different way so here it is um for a, a way a look i would wear it more often with i think is with these wide leg pants um i just changed my boots to black boots here but the red boots would still work and these are just a pair of Plinka pants that I made ages and ages ago in a rayon, I think it's just a rayon Bemberg, so lining fabric. Um, and then for even cooler temperatures, this is the same outfit, only I just threw a black, um, like big square tunic sweater over the top of it. You can't really see the sleeves of my um, top that I made underneath it, but it would be better if the sleeves were a little bit longer or if my sweater was a little bit shorter so that you could see the sleeves, but you can't. So that's the way it goes, right? I do like it though. I like it this way because I like the triple layer, like the sweater, the tunic, and then the pants. And then let's see, what else did I have? This one was um, addressing it up just a tiny bit. I put it over my um, 
Pattern Emporium. I can't remember what that dress is called, you guys. I'll link for all of these patterns, obviously, down below. It's the Pattern Emporium knit dress, that tank dress that I made um, a few weeks ago to go with some basics. Back in my video, it says knit basics, that one. I'll link it for you here if I can, if I can figure that out. That's all this is. It's the tank dress, black boots, tunic over top. I did also try this over a black, um, I think this is a rayon slip that I got um, at a local store ages ago. Uh, I don't know who makes it, but if I can figure that out, I'll link for it below because I really like this slip. I have it in like three or four different colors. Um, I don't like it as much with this slip because I, I put it on with taller boots, but I don't like it as much with this slip because the slip's a little bit short, you can see. Um, but it works pretty well. I mean, it works fine. So, like I said, if you're interested in trying to do a draft of our own patterns for some of those layer cake looks, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the pattern selections or if you have any um, patterns that you think would be better or just as good. Um, link those too because I know a lot of people are interested in that. Alright guys, that is it from me this week. Until next time, happy sewing.